Hello and welcome to Edupedia World. So now let's take a look at just a fun little thing we can do with animation. So here we just animated um, the uh, the um, transform options for this one layer. But we can actually use null objects to make some even more interesting um, animations. So let's make a new composition, call this animation with null objects. There we go. Animation with null objects. Let's just create this animation. Control Y to make a solid uh, and Control Shift Alt uh, Y to make a null object. Um, this is a null object, and uh, it has the same. Uh, if we press A A, oh, why is it? Just open up here, right here. You can see it actually has the same transform options as our box has. And uh, that means we can change the position, we can animate the position. Let's try and do that very quickly. And uh, the null object will move. Um, a null object, as I told you in the introduction series, it is um, transparent. It's only, it only stores position, rotation, all that stuff. There's no, nothing to be shown uh, from a null object. But we can use this null object uh, with the help of some other null objects, let's just make maybe uh, three null objects to do a very cool animation. So um, let's call this uh, let's call this the uh, shoulder. I think this is how it's spelled. Uh, and then uh, the elbow I actually don't know how it's spelled uh, don't mind that I will just call them one two three um, and then one will be the base this will be the next so I will try and explain what I'm doing I will move this off just a bit and then um, this other one, I'll move that up just a little bit. Maybe move this up a little bit more. And then um, we want to create a hierarchy. Um, move this up a bit more. Actually, it's fine right here. Yep. We want to create a hierarchy. Um, so this first one, uh, we want that to be the parent of this second one. So parent the second one has to have the parent of the first one and then this third one has to have the parent this second one and then our box will have this the third one as its parent so what can we do with this if we change the rotation you can see the first one rotates everything with it and uh, if I rotate maybe the second one, it will rotate the third and the box with it. If I rotate the third, it will only rotate the box. Uh, my idea is to go into all these and uh, turn on the rotation and then maybe go to five seconds and just add a random amount of uh, rotation to each of each of them and uh, this will give us a very interesting effect let's preview it there we go so um, people might say how in the world did you do this um, if they actually ask how it's done then please link them to me <laughs> no i'm just kidding but um 
we can also make these move the other direction this may make it look even more random let's preview this again we have to make it even more so uh, let's make it maybe minus three minus four now this looks really weird and I actually I don't know what I'm doing I'm just changing these rotation values and until I get something that I think looks cool maybe make this positive once again <laughs> it's just so random um, because th they are rotating each other so the first one is just rotating in the middle you can see it's just rotating and then um, because the second one which is this one um, is a parent of the first one you can see this one is the second it will move around this point so this point will move exactly around this point as, as you can see it's actually doing that exactly um, but it's also rotating rotating around its all its own origin its origin is here uh, the first one's origin is there so it's rotating around and then it's also rotating around this one this is its own origin it's hard to uh, explain and then uh, the third which is this one out right out here is also rotating around this guy's origin oh sorry around this guy's origin so this is rotating around uh, this null, null object with this as its center bam and then the box here is rotating around uh, this uh, this as its center and uh, by just randomizing these uh, rotations we get a very interesting uh, animation see whoa what is going on it looks so weird let's just try and randomize this a bit more turn this down turn this up a bit and uh, oh here's the problem I of course have to be at this position sorry at the last uh, position in order to change this properly um, if you do it in the middle it will add a keyframe um, but we don't want to add any keyframe just want to uh, edit the originals and there we go this is a very weird animation in my opinion it looks pretty cool because of how random it is We can also try and change the position of this. So as you, as you can see here in the beginning, the position is as this, and it will actually stay like that um, because it's this position is relative to this guy's position. And as you can see, they actually stay the same. Um, but if we maybe move the position here in the end, we move this guy over here. See, we can maybe add a bit more craziness. We can just move this around as we uh, as we like, and it will. You can see the path that it's creating. Yeah, let's say this is enough. We only add a bit of randomness randomness by doing this. It's not that much. Um. But as you can see, it's pretty cool. Let's maybe um, duplicate this box and then uh, parent this to the second one. Move it off and uh, scale it so we can differentiate them. And then go into the rotation and change this to something positive. We can see we have two boxes that just rotate around. Um, This is a pretty random animation. Um, 
well, it's just animation, you know. Um, we can also export this if we wanted to, but this is just this is just to give you guys some inspiration of how you can use uh, null objects with animation. Um, and as you can see, we came up with something very cool. Thank you for watching Etiopedia World. Stay tuned for more videos.